Hello YouTube land. Here we have chat GPT-4. My name is Laura with Skybits, which I created oh, back in 95, I think it was. I took programming in school. More about that later, but college rather and um, I created Skybits because a handle I used to use on the CV for anyone who knows what that is is Skybird and then after I went to college I got into computer bits <laughs> get it yeah okay so I changed it to Skybits I know you could say sky B in other words, but I chose sky bits. It's easy. I thought it was cool. The only um, the only thing that was using it at the time was something in the military, um, which is open and available words that are used uh, through the government in the United States is open to us taxpayers. We pay for that. Um, so I didn't feel bad, you know, using SkyBits. Now everybody else is using it and other versions of it. I'm having a Remedy Organics Maca Fuel, 12 grams protein. I'm not a vegan, or vegetarian, or carnivore. I eat whatever is healthy, and yes, I eat meat. Okay, um, <clears throat> enough about me. So I love computer bits. I love the um, detail down to the electrical charges of one bit to another, whether it's on or off, zero or one. That's my thing. That's what I love. Now this chat GPT and other artificial intelligence as we call AI can be used for good or bad. It depends on the human being who's using it. Just like a gun. A gun can be used for target practice and not shoot any human being or animal just for the heck of shooting them. And you should never shoot a human being. But, you know, um, it depends on the person who's using the, the tool, whatever the tool is, as to how it's used, good or bad. In this case, it's a digital tool. Um, now what I've done here is I have college student checklist and I just said up here, oops, I said outline of a checklist for the, uh, oh, this is the tax season, sorry. Um, I did that one too. Okay, what is a good ch general checklist for a college student returning from the holiday break in January okay and then you know it has words here that you know you could take into consideration when you write information about it and then it has a checklist and information like let's go over this a little academic preparation review your class schedule so I would use um, academic, like what's another word for preparation? That's a long word. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm. You could say class prepare. 
I would, you know what? I would just say prepare for class. Right? I would say like that. Not, I don't have to go way up in these larger words like that. Just talk to the human being. Say prepare for class. And then here, after that, um, put just class schedule. And then make notes written or in your phone about the classes, about the class times, days, times, and locations as to, you know, which building. Classes about your class time, days, and locations so that you're ready to know what to do. Now, here's the thing. Doing all of this is great, but I know from human experience that if I write something down, then I remember it. If I simply read it, I may or may not remember it, but that's me. You have to know yourself. That's why I put write it down. You could write it down and then never go back to what you wrote. Because when you write it down, the act of writing with your hand, you know, using something to write with, a, t a pen, a pencil, on paper, when you're doing that, the brain is watching what you're doing and absorbing and comprehending it and storing that information. I believe more than one person out there can relate. Let me know what you think. Um, so, that's why I try to, when I, when I see this, what I'm going to do is I would change it up to, to help you remember write down ahead of time what your class your class the schedule no wait a minute <laughs> and then you think about it you know write down your ahead of time the the times days and locations of each class one idea is to post it on a calendar And uh, I would I would put that in there as a, a tip, you know. You could post it to a calendar that can help remind you and put a reminder in the calendar to remind you whenever it's convenient, like maybe a week before or whatever you would want. You have to relate these things to your class and your thinking. That's the idea. Okay, now, here buy or rent textbooks. Okay, chat GPT came up with check your course syllabus or university bookstore for the acquired checkbooks. Yeah, it's kind of general, right? So, I would say in a one, two, three list, write down each book each textbook you need for each class and check the bookstore for and check your resources bookstore or used books on where you will be able to find these books and how much they cost Okay, and then I would also say, find out if your previous textbooks can be turned in for income at this bookstore or any other bookstore. 
do you have to do research on these things so I would I would do it that way I wouldn't just say this and nothing else you know come up with ideas to help them actually think about what they need to do that's the whole point of a checklist to actually have a checklist to check off right so here let's go to the next one organize your study material okay so <clears throat> excuse me here you want to do a little more than just say it like this you want to put purchase the notebooks pens and other class material that you need oh look it it <laughs> It assumes that everybody has a laptop. Right. Okay. Not everybody has a laptop. All right. They don't. There are people who do not have one. They cannot afford one. Um, I'm not going to assume everybody has a laptop. If you have a laptop, I would say for those with a laptop, make sure extra apps and files are deleted and the laptop is optimized for class only along with making sure the battery works well and any other, let's see the battery and the USB ports make sure all of those things work good so that's some ideas that relate to this area right and it sounds long but you can you know organize those ideas in a concise way that looks like a checklist and I would probably do this in a table so that I, they could actually do a check next to, a, you know, in a box. I would take this information, put it in a table, get out of here, <laughs> put it in a table. And then at the far left, I would leave all of those to be a real small box. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then the next one would be... Um, like this kind of information and then I would have underneath it different things that relate to that now this one housing and living arrangements confirm housing details that's kind of bland so let's say confirm your confirm where you will live what is it not? It's not confirmed. It's, um, maybe it is confirmed for now. You know, after you get a place and everything, then you, there's a word for it, which I'm not good at sometimes. I forget words. Um, I'm like that. I see pictures before words, so this is not always easy. And make, I work a lot when it comes to words. So, so you want to confirm where you want to live. A. Let's see. Off on campus. Let's see if on campus. Let's see on campus. Where is your dorm? Either no. One, where is your dorm on campus? Two, where is your home off campus? Where is the house located off campus? Or apartment, for instance. Okay, pack essentials. So, packing. I would just call this packing. You don't have to word, use the word essentials. We kind of overused that word, didn't we? <laughs> we'll just say packing. You know, and and then say something like 
packing checklist or packing and then just put down the checklist clothing well clothing and then shirts and um, you know pants and whatever type of clothing they want you could leave see I'm thinking this out as I go and that's how you do this you think it out as you go that's really how you do these things <clears throat> so the human element is to think about it and put actual human relational things in the information that they that the person can actually actually use so packing essential packing clothing and then you could have some blank spaces for them to fill out what type of clothing and how many so if they say shirts or golf shirts or t-shirts or blouses or you know whatever um, they could write that in and how many and then that way they can checklist because that that's personal to them their actual clothing and then toiletries you know what do you have to take um, toothbrush anything you need in the bathroom um, hair product hair, hair care products skin care products toothbrush toothpaste uh, teeth uh, teeth care products <laughs> you know that kind of thing bedding do you need to take bedding what type of bedding um, do you have a special pillow you like to use you know whatever you need that relates to you this is for you. not you but I mean the person that's <clears throat> gonna be leaving and going back to, to the university they have to think about these things okay and then kitchen supplies if you're living in an apartment even if you're not living in an apartment, there might be some kitchen things that are important to me or to you, like, or to the college student rather, like they might have their own special juicer. They might have, you know, a ninja thing that makes smoothies. They might have uh, a special way that they like to keep their fruits and vegetables inside special containers that they might have. Um, there's different things that can relate to the kitchen that's personal to that person and they might even have a special coffee pot that they like to use you know um, whatever is important to them and some of these items might be in their bedroom um, and then they just bring it out and use it and wash it and put it away back in their bedroom um, that that happens so I'm going to you know for something like that you would definitely put more put more into this one this part of it try to think of things or remind them to think of things that's important to them like that you know and then room inspection okay so I would say whether you're in a dorm or whether you're in an apartment either way you want to do a house a home inspection not a room inspection a home inspection so you want to inspect your dorm or apartment for complete or let's see fully inspect your dorm or apartment or I could put dorm slash apartment slash uh, room in a house for any damages or maintenance issues and report them um, to your residential advisor okay um, for any for everything just make a checklist of, of everything about it take pictures whatever you need to do to show the actual 
you know, condition of it. Okay. It goes on with these other ones. I think you get the idea. Um, I'm going to not make this too long. And we'll come back and work on these other ones. Have a great Christmas. Thanks for coming by. And we shall talk to you later. Enjoy your week. Bye.